Hi guys, Ved here from Offer Sub Support Team. So if you watched my previous video about our platform demo, I mentioned that I will go through our options one by one and I give you a thorough tutorial about what we offer. So today I'm uh, this is our dashboard. So today I'm gonna go talk to you about and show you about affiliates, how to manage affiliates, how to create affiliates, affiliate billing, and how to adjust statistics and about post back pixels and about uh, referrals and uh, referral commission, referral list. So um, let's first go to manage affiliates in here you can see um, if you have if you have a few affiliates already registered or created previously then you could see all uh, all of the all of them here uh, their status their name their status uh, what offers they're into and the clicks conversions uh, etc you can filter it out for filter them out from here and you can use these options so let's go to create affiliate so i want to show here as well pending affiliate so you can um right now i have zero in my demo account but in there you can uh, approve the uh, affiliates that have that has been registered to the register page so uh, you can go to create update through here affiliates and create affiliates or you can just click on this so let's go to create affiliates so okay so i'm gonna tell you guys what to put here company name you can put uh, the name of the publisher in your platform and then the address the city the country region postal code phone and then the user details these are the uh, affiliates the publishers uh, personal details you can put the uh, first name last name title as to if it's a manager or of source and then the email the IM ID the password and then you can select um, the account manager so if you have separate uh, I mean multiple account managers you can see this here or oh, your name will be displayed here as for mine it says demo user and then you can uh, set it to pending or active uh, the uh, this account status and you can uh, set this as a manually approved conversions so with this you can set all the conversions received in a pending status for selected affiliates like uh, let's say there are conversions received from this affiliate you can uh, you can manually approve them this will allow you to review uh, this uh, affiliates conversions and manually approve it to avoid confusions between you and your affiliates this uh, yeah and yeah for this and then once you click save that will be this affiliate will be created so let me go to affiliate billing now so once you create that your you can see you can see that account in manage affiliates in here and then you can just go in let me just go into one and show you you can just go in and then if you if you want to edit the account again you can click here and then you can you just get the uh, get the same uh, page as before and then let me go to affiliate billing so here you can generate invoices and create invoices so you um, here you can see all the payment statuses and uh, the payment term it says weekly and uh, by and the balance here 
and the account status, payment method, PayPal, bank transfer, and their fleet ID and their fleet name. If you want, you can click on this and uh, filter it out as well. By clicking here, you can see a summary of the uh, the billing, invoices, payment details, and also you, you can go into the account and then have a bigger and like a clear view of everything that's going on pending payments payment history invoices the fleet reports and payment details you can see all the payment details over here if you want you can uh, update the billing you can uh, change the payment details by clicking on that then you can view affiliates as well from that and then make changes accordingly okay next I'm gonna show you adjust statistics so with this tool um, you can you and your team can easily edit uh, stats in your network such as uh, say clicks conversions uh, and with this tool uh, you can remove any measurement and adjust payouts accordingly as well you say add and you can remove as well so um, clicks and conversions can be added in bulk by using this tool as well you can specifically mention how many clicks or conversions you want to be added or removed over here so let me just uh, show you how it's done. First, you have to select an offer, then select a goal. If there is a goal to that uh, offer, then you can select that as well. And then select an affiliate, say demo, and I want to add 10 conversions. So you can add up to 1000 conversions clicks you don't uh, you don't have a cap like that so you can add up to thousand conversions and click on next and then you can see uh, the, the summary of what you just did and it will show you the payout the revenue and the date so you can you could actually uh, let me show you that as well you could uh, you could select the date as well so let's say it was for March 1st then let me just do it again select an affiliate add 10 conversions click on next and then a review once you confirm all this click on confirm mm, yep that's here it says action completed here that means it's uh, done so let me go to post back pixels over here now. So um, uh, while working with publishers, you will uh, need to send the post back post backs to your publishers. So to create the global post back, you can just go to your dashboard and click on this get global post back URL and then this is your global post back URL so you can take that and uh, send it to your publisher but there uh, if you need to if you need to um, uh, add a specific uh, global uh, post back to certain offers you can uh, go here, affiliates, post back pixels, and then add callback. Then, you, what you have to do is you have to select the uh, affiliate and then select the offer. Uh, if there's an event or a goal, then you have to select that as well. And then you have to select the uh, callback type. So, we offer server post back S2S or iframe image pixel so select what you need from there and then uh, you can see the macros we have over here we uh, we provide the whole list in our help doc so you can check that as well so if you select this you can put the html code over here and then 
you can put active and then create so once you create that it will be over here and the URL will be this okay and then let's go to refer list so this is the referral list so before this I I, would, I should tell you that we uh, offers our, our platforms about two types of uh, referral commission calculators one is the flat commission and the other is the recurring commission so in the flat commission you will pay a one-time pay to your publisher when they refer someone so uh, this lucky ads was referred by this affiliate so uh, so if it was set to flat commission you will only pay one time to your publisher when they refer someone then the recurring commission that means you will pay a recurring uh, percentage amount of of the commission to your publisher from their referrals earnings so from the uh, the affiliate that was referred the, from their earning you will have to pay uh, a percentage to the original affiliate so before this whole page i want to show you uh, to how to configure that you have to go to settings system preferences and then go to affiliate settings click on edit and then under affiliate commission let me show you. yeah so affiliate referral commissions so yeah you have to enable this so once this is enabled you can see it's a percentage commission or flat commission what i was saying so you can change whatever you want and then base base it on the payout revenue or profit and then put the array right here so now it's five percent uh, depending on the commission type if it's a flat amount you can insert a currency value uh, currency value here like maybe so if you put 10 it's 10 dollars but if it's a percentage and if it's five that means five five percent so once this is done you have to click update here and then you can see your referral list You can see who has been referred and uh, their status the date etc you can click on change to uh, change their uh, to edit the affiliate uh, details and then uh, to obtain a referral url to uh, to get the affiliate referral url that can be used to refer the publishers you have to go to affiliates manage affiliates and then uh, let's say uh, you want to want him to know this guy has to refer someone else then you click on that name this is the affiliate url so once you send this then uh, whoever that that gets registered through this will go to will uh, will be referred by will go as it he was referred by this affiliate so you can see the refers as well by clicking on here in case if you need to manually select a referral to a particular particular affiliate you can go to you again you can go to affiliate manage affiliate and then select on the affiliate that you want click on edit And then you can select referred by oh yeah I see so you can uh, select the affiliate's name that was referred by uh, that this affiliate was referred by and click on update and then it will go as the this uh, this guy this uh, this affiliate was referred by this guy And if and also I should mention if you you can uh, set up custom referral commission rates as well. You have so if you want to do that to a particular affiliate publisher, you can go to 
affiliate manage affiliate again the name of the affiliate that you want to make changes for and click on edit again and then refer commission rate here you go so it's set to default so if you put custom again see you can uh, put a flat amount then ten dollars and then uh, if you want a percentage you can select any of this and put a percentage and click on update so basically uh, that's i think i covered most of i mean the whole affiliate panel over here, I went through manager, affiliate, create, affiliate, affiliate billing, I just statistics, post back pixel, and referral list. So, um, yeah, so my I'm, uh, I'm gonna do another video of on this manage advertisers on the next video. I hope I covered everything. Thank you very much. Also, I have to. Uh, mention some extra features that we have under affiliate so let's say you go here and then on the left pan, pan we have all this account information account users offer payout offer access post back pixels block sub IDs permission referrals so in account information you can see the uh, the affiliate information and if they are assigned to an account manager you can see the name and uh, if they have approved conversions manually enabled and the uh, referral url name status address phone the a basic summary of the account and in account users so uh, there could be multiple uh, people using this account so you can add add their email here as well if needed and uh, it's offer offer payout if you uh, want an affiliate publisher some uh, specific payout amount for some uh, specific offer rather than the offer default payout or if you want to add some uh, affiliate specific offer caps caps you can do that uh, in here you can uh, set custom payouts and caps for affiliates uh, so it says no custom payouts or caps available for this affiliate so we are going to click on add and then select and so the uh, affiliate is selected because we went through that and then select the offer if there's an event uh, select a goal and then you could uh, put the uh, the payout you would like the affiliate to receive um, if you if you leave it empty it's the, the default amount which is mentioned here and the uh, revenue you will receive and uh, yeah that's it and you can just click on save and then it will be added over here and then what's next then we have offer access we provide uh, three types of offer visibility settings uh, as a public required approval or private so you could see if there you could see here if there were any um, required approval offers you can allow all offers from here so right now there's nothing over here so and the next one what we have is post back pixels i spoke about it earlier you could just uh, add a add a callback like i told you earlier and then we have uh, block sub ids so if you want to uh, block traffic by sub uh, affiliates sub ids what we call or any other value passing we can uh, add from here select an offer and then sub affiliate and then the value to box block so that that will be added over here and then uh, the, those will be blocked from 
the platform and then we have permissions so uh, for this uh, for this specific uh, affiliate publisher you can uh, set manual permission so right now everything's enabled so you can disable some of it so then it will get updated there and then the uh, the affiliate won't be able to use these features just uh, enable disable and click on update and then you have referrals here like I mentioned earlier so this uh, affiliate the demo affiliate has zero referrals so that's why it says no data available so yeah I guess I covered everything see you on the next video thank you